Welcome to Grand Sumo Highlights, the September tournament, and it's day five. Okonomi, the first man in 90 years of rank and file to beat two Yokozuna, two Ozek in the opening four days. It's been done by higher rankers, but not rank and filers before. And Kisuno Sato, he may have two early losses, but the fans' expectations are still high for his Yusho. The man in Onre, thanking the fans for making it. Another full house is displayed. The fans are ready, they're settled in, and ready to watch today's action. We kick off with Daesho and Ura. Daesho, a Magashita 16, Ura up from Jurio for the day. There is Ura. This young man, a lot to look forward to in the future. He's very exciting. He's about as exciting as his cherry blossom, Mawashi. He never gives up, but he's taking on Daesho here, a pusher thruster. He's not having a good tournament, just one win so far. Quickly, Ura gets underneath Daesho. Daesho starts his thrusting attack, but Ura's in quickly. They go to the edge. It's tight. The Gilji's Goombay has pointed the way of Daesho. But no, the judges have called a Monoe. They're going to talk this one over. A discussion among the judges. Remember, the referee, the Gyoji has to make a decision. He's pointed the way of Daesho. Well, the chief judge, after discussion with his fellow judges, has just announced that they've gone down together, so it will be a rematch. Tori Naoshi. Daesho, push a thruster, Ura. Likes to get und underneath again. Well, a strange touch out this time. They stand and stare at each other. Maybe Daesho a little careful not to get caught by Ura getting underneath and trying to lift him out. So the wind goes the way of Daesho. His second win of the tournament, two wins and three losses. And the announcement, Ski Taoshi, frontal thrust down. And Daesho fully in charge this time, the second time round wins easily. Next it's Kyokushuho, Magashita 15, taking on Chiyoshoma, Magashita 12 rookie to the top division. He's going on quite nicely, Kyokushuho. Chiyoshoma, a three and one record. First time meeting in the top division. Going in hard, Chiyoshoma, but didn't take much work from the veteran Kyokushuho. Just an angled attack here. We'll see it in the replay. Not best work today from Chiyoshoma. He was caught low and thrust down by Kyokushuho. The angle you'll see from above comes in slightly with the shoulder and quickly moving to the side and thrusting down from the right is Kyokushuho. Now on the door here we have Endo and Kotoyuki. Endo three and one. Great sumo yesterday. Can he continue this form and Kotoyuki is a share of the lead with four straight wins. Good hit by Kotoyuki, gets his thrust going, but Endo is standing and standing his ground. Normally he's taken back, gets to the side of Kotoyuki, who's gonna be in trouble. He doesn't fight on the Mawashi well, and Endo's strong. They're both four and one. Bread and butter, force out win, frontal force out Yori Kitty. Normally, Kotoyuki will get Endo rocked back on his heels, but not today. Endo stands his ground well, and here's the point where he wins it. He now gets Kotoyuki sideways, gets that right-handed grip, moves forward strongly, 
and goes on and forces him over the rice bale to win by Yuri Kitty. Now on the dohyo, we have Aoyama and Ikioi. Aoyama three and one, Ikioi also three and one. They've met 16 times and Ikioi has the edge, 10 to six. Good hit. Aoyama starts with his thrust. Ikiwa gets in quickly and goes down. Now, was this a case of a slip or just good work from Ikiwa? He gets the nod, picks up his fourth win. The slow mo will be interesting. Good hit, both men coming in with a shoulder and forearm blast. And now thrusting from Aoyama. But he misses with that thrust there. And here is Ikioi pulling on the shoulder. So Hikiyori Toshi, hand or arm pull down victory. Mitakayumi and Yoshikaze are on the dojo. Mitakayumi three and one. Yoshikaze one and three. Yesterday he fought Yoshikaze's Dobe Rikshi stable mate, Takekaze. Yoshikaze might have a poor record, but he's one to watch. Hits hard against Mitakayumi, who stands and tries to force back the veteran, but he gets in inside him, and... Well, it's just too much forward power by Yoshikaze. Mitakayumi leans back and leans out. His second win. Frontal push-out win. Yoshikaze Oshidashi. Equal at the Tachiai, Yoshikaze stood back by Mitakeumi, but now he drives forward. Mitakeumi is a little off balance here, tries to slip away. One little push and he's over and out. One of the highlight bouts of the day, Okonomi, share of the lead going into the day, takes on Shohozan. Four straight wins at Maegashita 1. Set that record of beating two Yokozuna and two Ozeki in the opening days. No rank and file has done that in the history of sumo. Today he takes on Shohozan. Shohozan has a good record against him, 5-3. to three. He's got a 2-2 two and two record, two wins, two losses so far. Okunumi wants to get inside, Shohozan doesn't allow it. Now gets his own inside grip, but now gripped on the arm by Okunumi and locking up the left. This is going to squeeze on the elbow of Shohozan, not allowing him to do anything from the left side. Okunumi drives forward, takes him to the edge, but slips to the side. Looks like, well, the Goji has pointed the way of Okunumi. The foot went out for Shohozan, but no, wait for it. The judges have called a Monoe. They're going to talk this over. Look at the slow-mo replay. The footwork here, dancing on the edge. They go down, well, almost at the same time. The judges have decided that they have gone out at the same time, so we have another rematch. Chori Naoshi. Bit of extra value today for our coverage. Two rematches, and they go again. Get the timing right. In quicker this time, Shohozan, but locked up straight away again by Okunumi. He really locks up the man this time. Drives forward and, well, controls the bout today. The second time, wins by Oshidashi. A 5-0 and o record after five days and a share of the lead still. Face slap really didn't bother Okunumi too much. He quickly locked up the arm again of Shohozan. But this was the winning point. He starts to move forward quickly. He doesn't wait around. Doesn't give Shohozan a chance to get in and offer any resistance. Gives him one almighty shove and out he goes. Another angle. This time we see it from the attacking side of Okunumi and how he controls the bout from the left. And one push 
to win. Takayasu and Kaisu. Takayasu, the Shinseki Wake, and Kaisu, the Komasubi. Takayasu doing well. Three and one. Kaisu not so well at one and three. In quickly as Kaisu left hand in. Now Takayasu needs to do something here because he hasn't got a right hand grip and neither does Kaisu. But uh, now he blocks that side of Kaisei. This is a good move by Takayasu. He can squeeze on the hand, and now he has a right hand grip himself, starts to move forward, has a solid left hand in, right hand out. Kaisei is in an awkward position, changes the inside grip, but he's too high. And out he goes. Now oh, this man's impressing me with his thinking sumo. Takayasu. Kaisei, good move, wrong time. He goes to four and one, one off the pace of the leaders. Here we see that point where he gets the right hand grip. He's already got the left hand in, and this is a good move. He starts to press against Kaisei. Now Kaisei's about to go right hand inside, but he's doing it at the wrong time. He's too high and going backwards. Takayasu finishes him off. Now it's Tochi Ozan and Kota Shogiku, Komusubi and the Ozeki. The Ozeki, three and one. One little hiccup along the way. He's been pretty solid. Can't really see that for Tochi Ozan. He's looked a bit shaky with just the one and three record. They're pretty even in their, their rivalry, 18 to 15. Tochi Ozan with a slight edge. Quickly inside is the Ozeki and all over the Komusubi. And that's typical quality Koto Shogiku. No match, Tochi Ozan. It's the kind of sumo he displayed when he won his one and only title. Hits, quickly gets in, wraps up from the right, left hand in. Starts his hug and chug move. Uh, Tochi Ozan's too high, and out he goes. That's the Ozeki we like to see. He goes to four and one as well, remains one off the pace. And despite the lateral movement there, or attempted lateral movement by Tochi Ozan, the win goes to the Ozeki. Another Ozeki and an important Ozeki in terms of the Yusho race because he shares the lead going into the day. Goedo and Takara Fuji. Goedo, four straight wins, something he hasn't done since 2012. And he's got a slight edge against Takara Fuji, seven to five. He's two and two, two wins, two losses, the Shinseki Wake. In quickly, Goedo, trying to get a left hand in is Takata Fuji, can't get it in, knocked off balance. The Ozeki has a nice strong right hand inside grip and no left hand for Takata Fuji. Controlled well by the Ozeki for the win. Yorikiri, force out. Five straight wins for Goedo. Well, he hasn't had more than four straight wins in almost eight years. Last time his best was 8-0 when he was a Sekiwake. But today he looked all quality. He controlled it. He knew what Takara Fuji wanted. He wanted the left hand in. He got it but didn't keep it. And a good move by the Ozeki to change his grip and get a nice solid right hand inside. And from this point on, Takara Fuji's high without his favorite grip. And the Ozeki wins by frontal force out. This is Goedo at his best. The biggest issue for him is can he maintain it for 15 days? And that has always been a problem for him. Since he became Ozeki to put in solid numbers. But he shares the lead now with Okunumi. Five straight wins.
Miyogi Du and Tenno Fuji. Mega Shooter 4 is 1 and 3. Tenno Fuji, the Ozeki, 2 and 2. They've met 11 times. This man has won 3. 2014, 2015, and 2016. Tenno Fuji, a bit careless yesterday. Well, a face slap attempt by Tenno Fuji didn't really bother Miyogi Du too much. He gets in solid. Grabbing the arm and gripping the forearm is Terano Fuji. Looks in a bit of bother here. But if he can get a nice deep grip with the, the hand, he should be able to control Miyogidu, who's not known for his Mawashi technique. Trying to escape it all the time. Now he drives to the edge, pulls the throw, but Terano Fuji pulls one himself. The Ozeki. Very dangerous at the edge, but still had the quality to pull the throw to get the win. The overarm throw of Watanage. A scary moment for Terano Fuji. He'll take the money, and he earned it today. Miyogiru really gave it his all at the edge, tried to pull the throw. He looked to be in a good position, but it's Terano Fuji's win. Yes, and Osato up against Takanoiwa. The Ozeki has a wonderful record against someone he's fighting for the first time, and such is the case today as he takes on Omega Shiro 3. Kisuno Sato takes on that man, Takanoiwa, who's 2-2, two and two, beat two Sekiwake to start his tournament, has lost his last two. Kisuno Sato takes the charge of Takanoi, who gets down very low. They both get down very low. This is quite unusual posture. Normally they would fight a little higher, but Kisuno Sato controls it to the edge and wins quite convincingly by Yuri Kiri. Interesting strategy there by Takanoi. Bit of relief every day, I think, for Kisuno Sato if he wins. Two early losses, and the fans love it. Now, you watch the Tachi Ai here. Getting down very low is Takanoiwa, and Kisuno Sato has to get down with him. Otherwise, he could got caught too high. So Takanoiwa trying something different, but he hasn't got the uh, experience and the skill that Kisuno Sato has in his kit bag. And it's a win for the Ozeki. Kisuno Sato now really must be prepared to take on challenges who will try anything. He needs to be wary of everybody that takes him on because they want him to lose. And he does win well today. Tochino Shin, Maegashira 2 takes on the Yokozuna Kakiryu. Tochino Shin has only beaten Kakiru once in 19 meetings. But strangely enough, he's still a threat on any given day. Quickly in is the Okazuna, gets inside with a right hand, but he's driven back by Tochino Shin. Double handed inside grip. Morizashi by Kakiru, and an outside grip squeezing down is Tochino Shin, trying to lift up. The Yokozuna. He's got a lot more power, Tochino Shin, than Kakiryu. Kakiryu has the skill, the craftsmanship. Tochino Shin, very much a workman like operator. Taken to the edge. Can he spin around? Kakiryu here. If he tries that, he needs to be careful. No, but it's an outside leg trip. While he's thinking about how to throw the Yokozuna, the Yokozuna. Slips the right leg in and down goes Totsuno Shin. Soto Gake. Picks up his third win. Two losses. Soto Gake, outside leg trip. In quickly, the Yokozuna ended up with a Morizashi double handed inside grip. 
Now, normally you could be in an advantageous position, but as you see here, clamping down is Tuchinoshin and now getting a double grip outside. Now, with his power, his intention was to lift up and perhaps throw down. But keeping his body close to his opponent, Kakadu doesn't allow Tochinoshin any lateral movement to try and do that. And while they get into the middle of the dojo and Tochinoshin thinking about a pivot throw, Kakadu once again stays close with the chest, doesn't allow him to spin. And in the middle of the dojo, this is the crucial point, the Sotogake, outside leg trip for Kakadu. The final bout here of our Day 5 action. Ran Sumo highlights, Haramafuji and Shodai. Haramafuji, just the one loss so far and three wins. Takes on someone he's met twice before and beaten twice before. Shodai, who's yet to get a win this tournament. 0-4. Yokozuna hits and shifts with his outside grip, but he doesn't maintain that grip and gets into an awkward position against Shodai. Shodai tries a throw. So does Harama Fuji. He drives him to the edge. Couple of scary moments there for the Yokozuna. And Shodai wringing the arm a bit or the shoulder. He hasn't done any damage. He leaves still yet to win in the tournament. And Harama Fuji goes to four and one. A hit and shift by the Yokozuna to try and get an outside grip, but he couldn't get it. Was blocked well by Shota, who tries a throw here. Harama Fuji trying the inside grab of the knee and then drives forward and takes out Shodai there. So whilst he looked a little off balance, Harama Fuji, you could see that he was thinking all the time about how he could beat Shodai, even when he was under duress. And such is the experience and skill of Harama Fuji. He stays one off the pace with that win. Let's hope the shoulder of Shodai is okay. Harama Fuji is one of seven men with one loss, chasing the two leaders, Goedo and Okonomi. Five straight wins. A third of the way through the tournament, ten days left to see who's going to take out the Emperor's Cup for the September Basho 2016. Join us tomorrow for day six action.